Boulder City Part 2. Uh, enemies somewhere? Where? All I know is they said that I didn't get them all yet, but I don't know where they are. Jump, please. There we go. Checked out both of those buildings. That one looks kind of inaccessible. Uh, game? What's up? Oh! I've got you now. Oh! Oh wow, he weaked out. Oh no, critical strike on Edie! Are you okay? I think I almost killed Edie myself. An engraved cigarette lighter. Chairman job offer. Bandana. Why not? Oh wait, no, my current one has a, a critical chance up. So I can't just switch to a, a different uh, matching perception item. Uh. Not the most graceful solution, given that I was supposed to try to talk to them and so on and figure out about the platinum chip, but uh, there's no way I was negotiating the hostages out, so I saved them. I saved them with my, with my big sword where I just surprise attack somebody completely unglamorously. Thought you'd like to know that one of the chairman bigwigs from the tops is looking to hire Muscle for a job out by Good Springs. I don't know what it's about. The detail. I don't know about what it's about, though. The details are all hush hush. The pay seems too good to be true, but I figured I'd pass the info your way in case it's all on the level. Just let me know and I'll put you in contact with this Benny fellow. So it's, so it's commissioned by the gen. by. by. The chairman and the guy who did it is named Benny. I'm going by his liberty spikes. I take it this is one of the characters that I that I saw in the cutscene when I got shot. Yeah, or not liberty spikes. That's Mohawk. Oh, McMurphy. Purified water. I'm too heavy from all this water. Really? Stealing? You're gonna mo you're gonna punish me stats wise. My morality for stealing from people I already murdered. Like that's the line. I don't lose karma for killing the cons, but I do lose karma for taking their shit afterwards. Game. You need to think this through a little bit. <laughs> this doesn't make one, one bit of sense. I'm leveling again. Yeah, the main story stuff, I think, just tends to give you a level, basically. Well, this was a quick solution overall. I have no idea if I saved all the hostages. I saved at least one hostage, because she's out there. Oh, I guess that's the other guy. Man, I thought I was dead for sure. Not you, Edie. I'm glad that's over. Thank you. 
Uh, oh, I missed the character. Is it you? No. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winner. Wow, the nuclear winner. Uh, where's the help? I, where is named character? He's like unfindable. God damn. Confront Benny at the Tops Casino. So my next objective is just to go to the, just to go to Vegas. But where's the guy I talked to at the beginning? Am I not even gonna get follow-up dialogue? That's like strange, right? Huh. Okay. kind of a weird feeling lack of closure like no one's even like wow you did save the hostages like no remark about that at all maybe he ran in and died no because I was out here earlier and he said can't talk we haven't got all the dudes yet we, we had not yet succeeded hey. but now that I have succeeded he just disappeared huh well I saved the hostages I'm that cool Maybe the game didn't wasn't ready for the idea that I would do it like, you know, emergent gameplay style instead of via dialogue. So I'm not I'm not any good at stealth. So instead, I just uh, say I just rescued the hostages via gameplay and then ran away. And hey, they made it out. So because we went loud, they, they might think it, that it's a failed quest when it's not, or something. But who knows. Not failed failed, because they didn't give me the experience for quit completing it. It's just, you know, you expect conversations to happen after things. Unless they ended with you shooting the person in the face. <laughs> this seems safe. Are those mines? No, those are just cans. What? What? The fuck? Okay, one second. Dog belts. There you go. I guess it's all I can craft right now. So, uh, howdy, partner. Fancy meeting you here, friend. It's not really a, a wacky coincidence. You can't really sell me on that, buddy. You were just chasing me down the most insane paths. Uh, how how'd you get here? You 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 just have one wheel. Just rolling along on my spurs. Looks like I just might make it to New Vegas after all. You see what you see what happened in there? Yep. Guess it's just down to you and Fancy Pants. I wouldn't worry about him. He looks all hat and no cattle, if you ask me. Did you see Benny come this way? Fancy Pants? No, I ain't seen hiding a hair of him since the tussle in Good Springs. I'm sure he ran back to the soft living in New Vegas, though. It's, uh, good to see you again, Victor. Yep. This is getting a mighty embarrassing. People gonna start to talk. <laughs> uh, goodbye. Look me up when you get to New Vegas. I'll buy the first round. The fuck? <laughs> Boulder Beach Campground. He just... Where is he even going? He's like flying into the... Oh, he's under attack. No! Victor's dead! He got killed by psychic attack 
Z-Men. What the fuck? Is he gonna get it back up after this fight because he's like a plot character or do I need to let a save? He just died, the fucking... <laughs> Victor! Victor! No! Lake lurks, you know, like Meyer lurks. Alright, well. Unfortunately, I think I, I reflexively quick saved, like, right. Yep. Seconds before he died, so... Sigh... How long ago is this? Four minutes ago. Where am I? Outside. Hello. Do I just, like, politely wait for him? <laughs> he ran right into danger, that sucked. I'll just wait for a minute, an hour. He'll arrive then, right? Oh, there he is. Being spooky. I guess he just came running after me at some point. You can't trust, like... Fancy meeting you here. Blah, blah, blah. How'd you get here? Blah, blah, blah. Looks like I just might make... There we go. Okay, so you, it's this is an issue with the this model of gameplay in general is that like it's neat that people have like gameplay. Where's, where's he going? He's he's wanting the most. I feel like he's about to run into the same place again anyway. These games generally make a, uh, an effort to be realistic in a way that is cool. Let's find this Nuka Cola. So much radiation. That's what makes it spicy. Uh, it's cool that they do that, like the, everyone having a schedule and blah blah blah. But the NPCs just being in the world means that they can just wander off and die, and you have no chance of even knowing it happened sometimes. Just a character will just disappear from the story sometimes because he just walked the wrong way and just got obliterated. Oh shit, those are empty. I'm a fool. Yeah, no empty bottles, please. There we go. Up there he is. Okay, shit, he's still going. Okay, I just need to babysit him or something. I think his AI is just like, let's run straight into New Vegas. Hopefully he stays up here and doesn't go down there this time. Because I'm not there. There's enemies over there, though. Where are they? Where is he? Is your AI okay, buddy? He definitely should stick to roads. Like he's a, he's out here ready to go charging into to swamp lurks and shit. And he'll just die. I'm just I'm just gonna take them out to be sure. If I didn't go this way, I wouldn't even like if I just happened to look at a different direction and just wander off. I would have potentially not even known that he died. 
Well, we get to punish these fools for not having a projectile, like a, a, a hit scan projectile for once. Who went out of their way to model like a grundle? Like, what is that spot? I didn't mean to drop it, I'm sorry. There we go. My goal is basically just to drink all the sodas because I think Nuka Cola's give you bottle or they all give you bottle caps. The bottle caps are currency. And then the uh sunset sarsaparillas specifically give you Right, I was heading somewhere else. Okay, it's still over here. So still still ahead. And the sunset sarsaparillas can give you those those star caps that people are apparently up in arms about. Well, hopefully he just sits there until he despawns when I get too far away or something. I'm not sure if this is ever actually the case, but it definitely feels like some of these games might try to actually have characters walk from place to place, realistically. But it just means that they're able to die from, like, walking off cliffs or being attacked by somebody. This is a military outpost. Why are you here? Any interesting places around here? Have you ever heard the story of the bomber that crashed into the lake before the war? Supposedly it's mostly intact, even after all that time. What do you do here? Ranger Station Alpha used to be the frontline outpost for NCR. When we moved on to the dam, this station has fallen into more a support role. So, you're a ranger? For about ten years now. Toughest training I've ever done, and was the proudest day of my life when I got my ranger badge. Did you know that the first battle at Hoover Dam was won because of the Rangers? Legion had the numbers, but we had the skill. So long. Anyway, <laughs> you're the named character that isn't the comms officer, therefore you're dead to me. Can I have your cards? May I steal all of your cards? Why do so many comms officers have red hair specifically? This post isn't someplace a civilian ought to be. Cool. Sergeant Ray is at, at Camp Forlorn and sent me uh, with a security update for your radio. All right. She radioed ahead and mentioned that somebody was coming by. Odd uh, that she'd send a civilian instead of a trooper, though. Anything going on around here? Just the usual. Legion scouts try to slip across the river a couple of times a week. But they always end up floating down river with holes in their heads. What is this place? Ranger Station Alpha. Ranger Lineholm is in command here. Don't get killed out there. Alright, that's three places down and the other ones are way the hell out of in, in places, just in directions. I think there's a whole river between me and there? Yeah. Or the lake at this point, and that one's just in, on a different planet, so... Back to other stuff. Ring a ding ding, confront Benny at Topps Casino. Benny, old pal. We've got history. Let's go back to Boulder City and take the roads, because it looks like there's stuff along the roads. And also, uh, much as it might look contrary to that, I, uh, I don't try to spend entire episodes scraping into the hill geometry and hoping I can make over it. It's just sometimes I'm just trying to get to a spot and I, I think I can and I think I'm supposed to go for it and ah shit. Ah dang. Big horn saloon. Ah people in here. <gasps> Star chip. Prim is a new sheriff. That should keep the powder gangers away. I guess it's to fulfill the role of being a collectible, but this thing's cut this table's covered in bottle caps and none of them are considered are all of them are considered stealing but the star chip isn't and it's the most valuable one Ike a customer not many people come into Boulder City these days because it's gone and exploded exploded it's like it's like a crater tell me about Boulder City most of the town is rubble destroyed during the Battle of Hoover Dam and the only other thing around here is the concrete mixing yard 
What's the concrete used for? The NCR has been constructing bunkers up and down the river. From what I've heard, it's a little late for that. Travelers over at the 188, just up the road, said that the Legion has overrun a couple of towns to the south. Where's the concrete come from? Most of the limestone comes from Quarry Junction out west, but I hear some death claws overran the quarry. With no work to be had, all the workers around here have wandered off. I'm the only one left in town. Uh oh, death claws in the quarry. Uh, show me what you got for sale. What can I get you? You can get me a lighter inventory, buddy. Uh, it's not gonna work out for me. <laughs> You don't have much money. I will obsessively buy all of your sunset sarsaparillas for poorly justified reasons. Seventy. Boop, 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 and all of your money is mine. Pleasure doing business with you. Come back real soon. It's just one of the things I remember from other games in the series. It's just like one of my first goals is just to like absorb all of the in all of the money that exists from each town as I get to it. In other games, you can usually just sell stuff, but in these games, you have to specifically find people that will take your stuff. Uh, or not that you have, to, you have to find people that have money. A lot of them just have like nothing. You'll find individual items that cost more than the income of like 20 of the towns combined. Per chance plus five. It doesn't say permanent. Is it permanent? I don't know. Got another star cap. Ploys only, you say? What? You doing okay, boxes? AI is having a normal one over there. I am confused by this town. Hi, what? Hi. Is she, is he the only is this the only building that's operational in the entire town? Why is he, he runs a business that's nowhere? What a choice. Ah. Uh, oh, here we go again. You here to pay your respects to? What is this memorial? It commemorates the Battle of Hoover Dam. The Rangers lured the best of Caesar's Legion into Boulder City, then blew the whole town up. The NCR still lost a bunch of troops in the fighting, though. My older brother sacrificed himself so they could evacuate some of the wounded. I'm sorry to hear that. Don't worry about it. Where are you normally stationed? Camp McCarran, but I'm on leave at the moment, heading back to California to see my folks. I'm supposed to join up with a caravan that's heading that way up at the 188, but they're not due to arrive for a while yet. Goodbye. Bye. On this spot in the year 2277, where it... Rangers and soldiers of the... Of the... Yeah, New California Republic turned back the forces of Caesar's Legion during the Battle of Hoover Dam. Over 100 men and women gave their lives on Nevada soil to defend local civilians and their principles of the Republic made this humble stone of an enduring... Don't die, buddy. Actually, it's a good idea using cover. You, you, got, your, you got your head on your shoulders, go out. Oh, that's a lot of names. There's something grim about using a memorial to this war as a shield in another conflict of the war, so we're being attacked by the same people.
You have zero chance to hit. From here, I can't hit her from here. <laughs> she looks very strange running backwards. Well, <laughs> I sat out the fight for long enough that I just kind of became invisible to them, I guess. I'm happy this game doesn't seem to hit me with, like, decimal weight. Whenever I reduce my weight to the number that is my cap, I always expect it to punish me and be like, Actually... Something where it weighs like 0.2 pounds, so you actually can't walk now. Like right now. Did I just loot her again? Gah! God, who knows what nonsense is in my inventory now. Definitely one of those things where like a recent loot menu would come in, in handy sometimes. So much sarsaparil. I'm gonna be absolutely loaded with those star caps for some reason. Why am I doing this? And that's where we saw the guy. Rangers, give them all. Yep, there used to be a town. So it was the rangers that specifically blew up that town. Just to get another notch in their belt against the... Uh, Something's down there. There's Vegas. It was all just to strike yet another blow against Caesar's Legion, but... Did it do anyone all that good? The fight's still going on forever. It was not a decisive victory, because... Nothing changed. Except there's a ta no more town anymore. That is very striking to see in this game. Just a, a lit up town in the distance. One eighty eight trading post. Hey, Veronica. No offense, but you look like you've traveled a long way down some bad roads. Where'd you come from? Good Springs. Wow, you have come a long way then. I've never been there, but I've met some traders who passed that way. Well, welcome then. I'm Veronica. I live in a hole in the ground. You live in a hole in the ground? A vault? Well, a bunker, if you want to get technical. I think it sounds more interesting my way. But I'm not there much anymore. I'm usually out here picking up food and supplies for my family. Whatever they need. So you just leave your family in the bunker? Yeah, I'm not worried. They can handle themselves. But somebody has to get the groceries, know what I mean? And actually these days, I think they'd rather have me out here anyway. But that's a whole other story. So listen, can I ask you something on the level? Go ahead. I had a run-in with this group calling themselves the Brotherhood of Steel. Pretty strange bunch. Do you know anything about them? They're usually harmless unless you use the... Unless you use advanced technology around them. Well, that shouldn't be a problem for me. I can't afford anything like that. Hey, so where are you headed anyway? Going to see an old friend. This is quite a journey you're going on then. Must be an interesting relationship to have brought you all this way. I'll be honest. You're the first person I've run across out here that looks like he can really handle himself. There are places I've never been to that'd be too dangerous for just me. What do you think? Maybe we could travel together. Help each other out. Don't you have a family to feed? Like I said, they can handle themselves. And I'm not the only one getting supplies for them. It's a big family. You're in a cult, ain't ya? Where are you hoping to go? Oh, nowhere in particular, really. Just hoping to see more of the world, looking for a fresh perspective. I want to see how different groups have adapted to survive in the Mojave. See if there's something I can learn from. You don't look like much. What do you bring to the table? Hmm. Good. That's the look I was going for. 
Trust me on this one, though. You'll be glad you brought me along. If I turn out to be a burden, we can part ways at any time. No hard feelings. Okay, let's travel together. Now you're talking. One thing you should know first, though. I ask you about the Brotherhood because I'm one of them. Yeah, I know. I know, I know. But I had to know how you react when I told you. We have made a lot of enemies. You still okay bringing me along? As long as you're honest with me from now on. Sure. Just don't ever ask me if your outfit makes you look fat. Well, thanks for taking a chance on a naive young girl from California with stars in her eyes and a pneumatic gauntlet on her hand. Let's hit the road, huh? Scribe assistant. How does this work? Do I have two companions? For some reason, I thought I had a limit of one or something. I feel like I never really had companions when I played Fallout games, but I don't really know. You know, immediately she's like, What do you feel about the F Brotherhood of Steel? Anyway, here's a bunch of topics I'm gonna bring up now instead. Uh, she just didn't follow up on that at all. I'm like, okay, she's she's from the Brotherhood of Steel. That's, that's her big family that she feeds. So they are in this game after all. 